Hi, this is Hugh Cushing of White Source Software, and this is uh, the latest in a series of videos on White Source's integration with Bitbucket. And today we're going to talk about global configuration. So, as you may have known in the past, for individual repositories, the way that White Source scans things is primarily defined by a dot white source file in the repository's root directory on the default branch. Okay. Um, now, obviously, with large organizations, you can have you know tens or hundreds or even thousands or tens of thousands of repositories, and so creating white source dot white source files in the same way can be can be tedious or impossible <laughs> depending on the scale. So that's where the ability to define a global configuration comes in. What you can do then is you're going to create a special project in Bitbucket that holds your uh, global configuration, and it will be inherited by default for all new repositories. Okay, it won't retroactively go back and delete the dot void source files for existing repositories that were created before you created this um, global configuration. But there is a way to go to tell the global configuration to go back and migrate those to start following the global configuration. So let's just start with how to do global configuration going going forward. Right. What you need to do is to create a project with the exact name white source dash config. And by the way, uh, this is all documented in the white source documentation. The best article to read is an article called Global Repo Configuration, and it can talk you through all the options here. But it's, it's better to, you know, pictures worth a thousand words. So you create a project called white source dash config. You go into it. And you make sure that it's enabled, that all the repositories within that uh, project are enabled. Right? Right. You haven't created any repositories yet, but this is being proactive. Then within that uh, project, you create a, another, you create a repository also with the exact name of white source dash config, all lowercase. Right. When you do that, you will suddenly see within a minute or two, assuming the Bitbucket the containers are running, the white source Bitbucket containers are running, you're suddenly going to see three files magically appear here in the root directory. There's a readme with this exclamation, this explanation I'm giving you now. There's a file called repo-config.json. Right? And this is the basically the equivalent of the dot white source file, but it's the essentially the dot white source file that's going to get applied to all new repositories going forward. Note again, uh, the contents of this will not override existing repositories that already have dot white source files within them. Okay? Uh, but again, there's a way to m tell the integration to migrate those existing repositories if you want. Right? So there'll be two files in there. One is a repo config.json, which basically this is where you spell out what the dot white source files should be for everyone. And then there's also a global config.json. It has a whole bunch of options in it that allow you to um, specify things globally about the integration, such as do you even want to have folks need to uh, merge a PR in order to turn the uh, integration on? Or do you want to just push this dot white source file out right away? Um, or do you not even want to have a dot white source file so that people can't even manipulate it? and have it go straight to this repo configs settings. A right? whole bunch of other different options that I can, you know, that you, where you can include and exclude certain groups and things like that. That's what the global.config.json, global-config.json is. The repo-config.json is where you get to set your global settings for the Bitbucket integration. That should look very familiar. That should look like the, if you've seen it before, the default content of the dot white source file that's created for individual repositories. And here you can manipulate it. Okay. Now, once you've gone through all that, and you can, of course, edit this file to your heart's content, now if you go to other projects in Bitbucket, if you go to any new repository that is created after you've done that global setup, you'll see that there's going to be a pull request created for them by default. Um, 
You can also have it even skip the pull request phase and, like I said, push the white source file out directly, the dot white source file out directly, or even not even allow folks to have a dot white source file where they can override parameters. But by default, it's going to create a PR that includes a dot white source file. And that dot white source file contains one thing and one thing only, a setting called settings inherited from. And then this specifies the name of the product, uh, excuse me, the project in Bitbucket, the, uh, the, re the repo, and the branch that contains those three files. Once that file is there, you are good to go. And this repository is now going to inherit those settings automatically from that global configuration. Now, again, if you go back to uh, repositories that were created before you turn the global integration on, they're, all, they're already going to have their own dot white source files, and they're going to have their own contents. Okay. Now, you may want to just leave well enough alone there, but if you want to get rid of those individual con um, dot white source files and have them overridden with your new global configuration, then you s simply go to the section within this global repo configuration showing uh, called migrating existing repositories. And basically what that's about is to cr create a third file in that repository called migration.json that tells uh, whom to migrate and how. I won't go through that now, um, but just be aware that that option does exist so you can uh, have these changes take effect retroactively. Thank you for watching this presentation. And if you have further questions, please reach out to your white source representative or you can visit our website for more information.